Okay, today I'm going to be demoing something that I've been working on. It is a calculator. It's a very weird calculator. It's a bit crazy. It's a bit hard to use, but it's pretty powerful. And it's very, very useful for uh, programming. And it is called MathPan. I forgot why I named it that, but that's what, what that's just what it's called. Okay, so basically, if I enter in a number right here and... Why isn't it working? Okay, there we go. You gotta... You, it's seg faulted. Hold on. Okay, just pretend that didn't happen. So, yeah, you can... You press space to, like, create a new number, kind of. But, um... It's seg faulted again. Give it anyway. So, to, like, add a number... You do this... Uh... Plus... And then, like, a number. Like, 347 space create a new number and then like eight you can notice that like when we uh select 347 we get the we get 347 in our readout here we get it in hex we get it in decimal octal if you're if you need octal for some fucking reason and also binary eventually i'm going to have it so that you can use a scroll wheel on these numbers to change the digits and like on the binary you can you could click I also want to have it like on the actual number itself. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, you can uh, <coughs> cycle through radixes. So right now this number is being displayed in decimal, but it can change for every single number. So you can have it be uh, hex, you can have it be binary, and you can have it be octal, you can have it be decimal, whatever you want, whatever floats your goat. And you can edit the numbers in this way. It automatically figures it out for you, and oh, uh, something something's wrong. Oh, it's because I was typing two. Yeah, if you if you type a number, uh, if you type a digit from a higher radix while you're editing at a lower radix, then weird shit happens. But it's all perfectly mathematical. So it basically just like multiplies the number by the radix that it's displaying as, and then adds whatever digit you type to it. So if I, you know, never mind. It's not even that important. And so you can also press Shift X to cycle backwards through the radixes. So now we have like this big old number. So yeah, twenty nine plus eight was twenty nine plus eight. That's thirty seven. Let's see if we can get thirty seven. So a very quick way to go to the uh, um. We can select a, uh, a node's parent by pressing the up arrow key. And look at that, we have 37. That's so cool, isn't it? And uh, we're not limited to just this this bullshit. We can also do this. Uh, and this is probably going to be zero. Yeah, that's zero. Uh, I don't have any floating point math yet. So, but uh, when I implement that, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Yeah, you can do, you can like nest things to your heart's content. There's also like bit shifting. Possibly one of my favorite ones is mean. If you're into statistics, this might be useful to you. You can like take the average of a shit ton of numbers. Uh, yeah, it doesn't scroll. That's a problem that I have to sort out. Yeah, but if we look at that, yeah, the uh, uh, the mean of all these numbers is uh, 20,411. It is like error handling for like stuff that you can't do. Like for example, like you do zero divided by zero, classic, uh, comes up with a division by zero error. You can also use this to bit shift stuff. So if I do four bit shifted by uh, one, then we should get eight, and we did get eight. Uh, but if I do... Uh, and here's how, to, how you make a negative number. It's cool. You just do negative and then, uh, and then the number. It's Polish notation, baby. It just works like that. So, yeah, we'll get a negative shift amount error, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, this happens when you type in a negative number. It's just showing the raw twos complement that's inside the computer. Uh, I don't really have any sort of uh, um, signed readout, but this is basically, this is just for like computer shit anyways, so I might hold off on making that. It's not that important. This calculator is mostly designed for like programming and stuff. That's why you got like bit shift operators and stuff. There's also like uh, um, binary or, so like uh, if I do this, 
We can, like, get binary going in here. Uh, 100, 10, and 1. Now why not change that to binary, too, even though it... Yeah, and then we get 111. Ain't that neat. And we can also do this swap thing. And... Oh, yeah. Fuck me. That didn't work. Let's, let's do that again. It, fuck. Yeah, but, like, anyways, if we do... If we or these... Fuck! Okay, yeah, something's wrong with this thing. Uh, sometimes, sometimes weird shit just happens to this thing. I don't really know why. Yeah, but anyways, now it's working. 110, uh, and then 1, 100, 111. Wait, what was I gonna do again? I forgot. I forgot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we can replace this with an and if we want you can do like a little swap and what you do is you hold down alt and then press the thing you want to swap it with and it's like an in place swap so it doesn't like delete what you have it can be pretty neat but i can also do it like with like uh um plus and get the same result and also do it with uh um minus i'm not really sure if that's the correct answer I don't know. yeah six minus one should equal five not that i need to fix that but yeah if you want to like play around with it the uh, link to the git repository is in the description i might mirror it to github so people can open pull requests who knows but if i if i, if I put it on github then copilot's gonna get its grubby hands all over it and i don't know the code in this thing is kind of fucked up and awful so maybe I'll be doing a service to humanity by um, uploading this to GitHub and then uh, screwing Copilot over with all this awful code. But anyways, yeah, uh, it's up right now. And by the time this video is posted, I've probably added and like fixed and changed things. So yeah, it's going to be better.